Hello, this is Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM. I'm an ENT consultant practicing at Ashwanpur. I consult at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital Ashwanpur as well as my clinic which is Srinivas Speciality ENT Center uh, which is located in Ashwanpur. Yeah, what we need to understand is uh, both antihistamines as well as um, uh, corticosteroids uh, they are uh, medication used in allergic rhinitis okay now uh, they are not cures uh, i think fundamentally that has to be understood uh, if you are allergic to something it's very very unlikely that you will get cured of it you may outgrow the problem you may stop reacting to that particular allergen after a few years of exposure but um, medication giving you cures is very very unlikely uh, now we have our allergy associations uh, guidelines uh, which says what we are uh, supposed to use in patients in whom we make a diagnosis of uh, allergic rhinitis. The first line of treatment would be antihistamines. Now antihistamines are um, uh, tablets like uh, cetrazine, uh, levocetrazine, pexofenadine. Uh, these are um, antihistamines which we use uh, to control symptoms of uh, allergic rhinitis, namely sneezing, itching, watery, uh, running nose uh, and nasal obstruction. Majority of patients they do well with only antihistamines but um, uh, the problem with antihistamines is they do have certain side effects like uh, uh, you can feel a little bit drowsy uh, there are people who feel uh, their mouth and the nose and the upper airway getting dry very easily some people don't tolerate those medications very well uh, it tends to affect their uh, morning activities um, and they don't prefer using it one Two, um, they only act for a certain duration of time. That means you take a, a tablet today, at the most it may act for 24 hours and so you'll be fine till tomorrow, uh, same time. And if you don't take your tablet tomorrow, by the end of the day tomorrow, you still become symptomatic. So commonly patients uh, misunderstand uh, that as uh, um, ineffective uh, medication or ineffective treatment. But uh, what they need to understand is uh, that is the limitation of the medication's duration of action. It only acts for say 24 hours. So, so long as it is there in your bloodstream, your symptoms are under control. When it is excreted out of your system, within the next 6 hours, you, you are exposed to the same allergen, you are again symptomatic. So, by and large, you will need to be on medication as long as you are allergic and uh, you are symptomatic. First line of treatment, only antihistamines. Now there are a subset of patients who don't um, do well only with one antihistamine or let us say we give them two antihistamines but they don't do uh, well. In that subset of patients we introduce another molecule called as corticosteroids which are available as nasal sprays. So um, there are a uh, subset of patients in whom um, the combination therapy of antihistamines with steroids help. Uh, now steroids are also anti-inflammatory drugs so hence uh, they also act on the allergy pathways and hence they give you relief by acting uh, topically that means they act only on the nasal mucosa reduce the allergic response by the nasal mucosa to whatever allergen uh, it has got exposed to and hence reverses the symptoms now how long they are supposed to be used uh, for uh, what duration uh, what are the side effects i think uh, you would need to sit with your uh, allergy specialist or your ENT surgeon and then they should be able to explain